Hi, welcome back. I want to talk about delicate makeup today. And you may be thinking like, okay, what's what's delicate makeup? Like, is this a new trend? Not really. Someone was like, someone asked me in a comment, what do you, what would you like consider what your makeup style is? And just the word delicate kind of came to mind. Um, and I just started thinking like, okay, well, what does that mean? And to me, like delicate application isn't necessarily like a no makeup makeup look or a supernatural look. Um, but it's just so delicate and almost just like airy in the application to where I personally think or what I, the goal is that I achieve is that it always just comes out looking very ethereal looking. So I thought I would run you through, this would also be very appropriate for a nice little spring makeup, a little refresh happening this season in your makeup bag. And a lot of these products are, you know, ones that I frequently use and talk about. So um, speaking of that, the first thing I'm going to use is the M Beauty Project Face Glaze. So this is something I nine times out of 10 will apply if I'm going for that delicate kind of airy style makeup look. There's something about this that just gives this soft focus glow to the skin, but it's not overwhelming. And the reason that I'm using this today is because I love wearing this with just concealer. And so almost always, if I want to skip a step with my foundation, this is what I go in with. And it may be hard to tell on camera, but it just kind of gives like this diffused appearance to the skin. There's no pigment in this. It's not going to give you coverage. Something about it I just absolutely love when I want that like breath of fresh air style look. Um, so the concealer I'm gonna use today, we're skipping foundation. You could kind of do one of two things. You could either use a foundation that has like a nice breathable like medium coverage and skip out on concealer, or you could use a concealer that's like a little bit more medium to full, very skin-like. And a great suggestion that I love from the drugstore is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. This is so good. It reminds me a lot of my um, Dior Forever Skin Concealer. And then also another good option would be the NYX Bear With Me. I love wearing those concealers as a little bit more of a foundation base because they are so thin, they're easy to spread. And I'm just going to apply a small amount to under eye area, redness around my chin and mouth. And then I will take a little bit through um, my lower jawline. I'm actually just gonna use my fingers to blend this out because I think it looks gorgeous when it melts with like the warmth of your hands. I'm always stunned to not hear about this concealer formula enough. I don't know if it just kind of is like one of those hidden gems. I featured it a lot in hidden gem style videos, especially on my TikTok. Um, but something about it is just so creamy and beautiful on the skin. It is almost like a one with the skin style product. I actually, I applied like a little bit too much to my under eye area. I'm going to take, I'm going to take a little bit more down here. Um, but yeah, it just blends so smoothly into the skin. And when I melt it in with the M Beauty Project Face Glaze, it gives me that perfect delicate style makeup look that I love. Already you can see quite a bit of difference. I mean, I think it looks beautiful. It almost looks like I just had a facial done um, every time I wear this combo together, but the concealer gives a great amount of coverage. So if you do struggle with acne or redness or any type of marks that you want covered, I would say this concealer is a pretty good contender. It has at least a medium coverage. I mean, if you have never tried this concealer formula, I would I would say run, don't walk. So when I'm going for this delicate style look, I don't always reach for a bronzer. It just kind of depends on what my skin tone level is at. Um, and you probably noticed I didn't put much on my forehead. I think it just kind of takes away from an ethereal or delicate style look, but I will add just a touch of bronzer since, you know, my, um, face is obviously going to be a little bit darker from adding a complexion product to it and that way I'm a little bit evened out and I'll take whatever excess is left and use that on the hollows of my cheeks but this look really isn't about being like bronzed 
like I said, some days I don't even wear bronzer. It's more about um, the blush that I'm about to use using something that is very like fresh. And almost always I will reach for this particular blush. It gives the most like fresh, awakened, styled look to the cheeks. And I have multiple colors in these. Um, the one that I normally use is Tawny Nude, but that I, I'm gonna use something that's a little bit more spring appropriate today. So it's the Jones Road Lip and Cheek Sticks. And I'm gonna use English Rose today, which is pretty similar to Tawny Nude, but it is lighter. It's almost just like a classic pink, which I don't always go for, but you know, pinks have a way of giving you that really nice youthful look. And I don't know what it is about this formula, but I especially love popping this. It is for the lips and cheeks. We'll go ahead and just like, I'll add some to my lips. This isn't really gonna be the final lip look, but I love a monochromatic look with these and they're just super fast and youthful and glowy. I just love these. I've, I've raved about them for months and this English rose color, I think kind of gives the epitome of that delicate um, makeup style. But I also love um, Tawny Nude. That's like probably one of my favorite blush colors of all time. And I do go a little bit heavier on the blush for this look. You guys know I'm normally not into, most of the time I'm into very light handed application of the blush, but um, there's just something about it, like I said, especially with this color or my Tawny Nude that gives me, I don't know, doesn't it look like I've just had a facial and there's just like a little glaze of like makeup over my skin? I don't know. That's, that's how I feel. And that's why I wanted to like film this immediately because I was like, I have not talked about these particular products and this application style and it needs to be done. Okay, believe it or not, I am going to set this with a tinted powder or a powder foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder, which, you know, is kind of out of character for me. Oftentimes I won't set my skin, especially if I'm just wearing the face glaze with the concealer. I never put powder on with that. Um, but since I am doing a complete look and the Jones Road product um, or cheek product is very glowy. I mean, you can see how ethereal, almost gave my skin a little bit of a glazed appearance. So um, I am gonna go in with a little bit of double wear powder. Now I keep a very light hand with this because it will get um, really mattifying if you get heavy handed with it. But this is a lovely powder. Um, you can wear it by itself as well. Is it gonna give you this ethereal style look? No but it does have a good longevity and I think it looks beautiful on top of most um, makeup products. So I'm just keeping a super light hand and setting in place um, really just where mostly the concealer is. And I just realized I'm kind of toxic when it comes to eyebrow products. I find one that I fall in love with for like one to two years and then I just don't like switch it up. And obviously for the past several months, it's been my Gen Z brow gel and I'm currently keeping it at my office because there's really no need for me to have anything else. I mean, this fills in my brows and gives me, you know, the look that I um, desire, the look that I need. And um, yeah, I, I've been seeing all of your comments, you know, about really wishing that Gen Z had a lighter color in this um, brow product and I've seen some responses from them saying that they're working on it. Unless I just like misread or I made that up in my head, I'm pretty sure I saw them respond to some people and say like stay tuned or working on it. So, um, but yeah, this is just such a beautiful um, brow product. It fills in the brows like immediately. It's not overpowering. And if I weren't talking right now, I could have already had this done, so. Okay, take a look at this eyeshadow palette I got in from Buxom the other day. I haven't seen anything new from Buxom, which 
it's just one of those brands where I feel like they don't have to come out with anything new. They have a, a hero product, their lip glosses, which, you know, do fine on their own. Um, but occasionally they'll have, you know, some other makeup launches. And I received this um, on the Rocks collection. And this is an Eye and Cheek palette. And it's in the uh, color or the palette's just named Straight Up. So look at these colors in here. This is what I would describe as... 100% like a delicate eye palette. And so I haven't used it yet, but it's something that when I saw this, I was like, mm, yeah, this would fit really nicely into this style look. So this is what we're gonna work from. But before I do that, I am going to apply a little bit of this About Phase Shadow Stick. It is in the shade called Lotus Leaf. And now if you have, um, which most of you watching, if you've watched me for a long time, you probably have a shimmering beige uh, shadow stick, whether that be from About Face or Laura Mercier or Bobbi Brown. If you have something that's just shimmery and it doesn't even have to be beige, it could be like peachy or just correspond with your skin tone, um, that's what I would recommend doing. So I am going to use this just as almost like a prep or a prime. Um, to add a little bit more of that like glossy ethereal look to the eyes. This by itself is very pretty. I used this in a video just the other day. Um, Laura Mercier Sugar Frost would be a good option as well. Um, you know, I mean just any type of like creamy shimmering base. So I'm really excited to try this color right here. Um, it is coming off as maybe like a little bit of a peach pink color mixed, but I'm gonna start out with that. It seems like very, very creamy. And I'm just gonna tap it over. It's a little darker, it's a little darker than what I was actually expecting it to be. I may go over it uh, with the lightest color in here though. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of basically this like shell or white color here. Kind of just tap over that. It's a little, a little darker than what I was expecting. Okay, then I'm gonna do like a soft kin flick with this taupey color in here. Uh, really, this probably isn't even going to show up that much, but I just like to tap into the lash line. I just like to tap into the lash line and give the illusion of eyeliner. I mean, it's, it's nothing like, nothing crazy. This is a little bit more peachy than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more like skin toned, like pinky, but it's falling a little bit on the warm, like peach side. It's my fault. I should have tried it beforehand. But when I looked at it, I was like, oh yes, this is like serving delicate vibes. And I mean, it's, it is, it's fine. It's like nothing overwhelming. Obviously the skin is a little bit more of the focus on this, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up with some mascara. This is the Gen C Spectator Sport. I wish I had more of my lip liners here at the office. I haven't transferred those over yet, but I do have this new one from Buxom that I think will work perfectly fine. It's a little bit darker than what I was wanting to um, go with, but it's called Savvy Sienna. It actually applies a little bit lighter than what it looks. And then I'm going to top it. Okay, if you want the true delicate girl style look, you have to have a clear lip gloss. Um, this one is from M Beauty Project. Obviously, like these have been my ride or die for a full year now, and this one's in Glazed Donut. It does have a bit of shimmer in it, which I think makes the lips look nice and plump. Um, but a soft, like more petal pink, kind of like what I initially put on my lips is what I was wanting to go for. It, this is fine, it's gonna work fine.
Okay. What do we think? I mean, it's not giving no makeup makeup. It's not giving clean girl look. It's a little bit more. I'm just deeming it a delicate makeup style. And you could definitely play around with color palettes with this. You know, if you find that peach tones work best on you, maybe like cooler tone pinks, lavenders on the eyes. Lavender would be like such a pretty, lavender would be such a pretty delicate color. Any pastel obviously would. Um, but this is just my rendition. These are products that I use on the on the reg except for the eyeshadow palette That was just something I wanted to try out um, And I hope you enjoyed seeing this look I hope you enjoyed seeing some things that um, I like to use to get this style look and and just the overall techniques that I use um, So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye